And thank you so much for joining us for Denver 7 News after the Ten Commandments. I'm Jacqueline Allen. And I'm Claire Lavazorio. Investigators with Boulder Fire are trying to figure out why an electric vehicle exploded in a family's garage. Yeah, this happened here on Emerald Road just after 6 this morning. Firefighters were originally called out because of a fire alarm. And when they got there, they found the EV smoking in the garage shortly before it exploded. Now, all the people inside the home did make it out safely. That's the good part. Now, there are more than 116,000 EVs on the road in our state. That's according to Colorado's Energy Office. I spoke to experts today about the unique challenges they are facing as they fight these types of fires in our state. Restoration crews are parked in a boulder driveway, working on repairs to a garage still stained in soot just hours after firefighters say a family's electric vehicle exploded. Skip Miller lives next door and tells us he was jolted out of bed when it happened. It sounded like an aircraft had crashed right here and exploded. While Boulder Fire Rescue is still figuring out what caused the car to burst into flames, tackling electric vehicle fires is a task departments across Colorado are dealing with. And rescue crews may only encounter it more often as the state's energy office calls for a quarter of all new cars sold to be electric by 2025. You've got the, the technology of, of a battery power system. Data shows EVs are less likely to catch fire than gas-powered vehicles. Although MSU professor of fire and emergency response Todd Bauer says when lithium-ion batteries do catch fire, it can be hard to tell when they are fully extinguished. They've actually transported these types of situations on tow trucks to the tow yards, and the batteries are still smoking. And no matter how much water is dumped on EVs. These things put off toxic fumes and you don't want to be around and inhale those. Lafayette Fire was able to bring in this EV blanket to help quell the flames. Just another tool firefighters use to tackle this new technology while keeping people safe. Certainly a statement of bravery. The firemen were amazing. The cause of that EV explosion is still under investigation tonight. And for a deeper dive into how fire departments across the Denver Metro are grappling with this type of technology, we do have a story up on Denver7.com.